Hello guys, I'm Val and welcome back to my channel. Finally, I'm able to do the videos again because this summer was hella hot and uh, we were just living with an open door and our open door is right here. This is the balcony door, so this is my filming place. And um, yeah, it's been very hot and it was impossible to do anything because anything would, would melt anyway and uh, the lighting that I'm using is also adding up a lot, a lot of heat. And uh, finally it's September and uh, we can proceed with the stuff and f live normally. So yeah, uh, thank you for waiting up. If you didn't wait, that's okay. I was waiting for that to return and uh, yeah, that's the welcome back. Anyway, today we're doing Galadriel from the new Amazon Rings of Power and uh, I don't have to do a lot for her, as you may notice, but still I would guide you through the process and I will tell where to find specific things and like a wiggle lenses or something else if you want to do her makeup by yourself and your appearance doesn't match, like you're not blonde, for example. Yeah. Speaking too much, but let's get into business. I'm starting off with the base. Today we are using, I am using, the RCMA palette. This is the VK11 palette, which is for light to medium skin tones. And this is how it looks. And I need, as you may notice, the closest to me uh, seems to be very, very similar to mine and I'm doing the makeup in the second window so you can see a bit of a process so yeah RCMA is a cream makeup and this is like a professional grade um, palette uh, which is actually quite good it leaves a very nice skin like finish that's why I'm using it today it's not making you kicky or anything and the second part will be the NARS concealer. Uh, this is the soft matte concealer in vanilla. So this is a match for me. And uh, this is a match probably for Galadriel as well. Because it's light. And for the contouring, you can see a bit of a contour on me. This is the Fenty in amber. Yeah, and after that we will go to a bit of blushing and proceeding with the eyebrows. For blushes, you need to find to which tone you are blushing naturally, then it will be the best blush for you. Uh, my skin is pink undertone and I'm blushing in a bit of peach to pink, so I'm using this Natasha Denona Cheek Duo and this is the color... I have no idea what this color is, but it's a cream blush. And I'm using a bit of a fluffy brush and just applying the makeup. This is mirror. I need a mirror. I'm not 100% sure about the freckles, if she has any, but in some of the pictures you can see a bit of freckling and I think it's not gonna hurt to repeat a bit, so for that I'm using a big stippling sponge, I lost a small one, so I don't know where it is. And um, this is my own color wheel and this is actually brown color, uh, right here. And I'm dabbing it first on my hand to remove the excess and then you can dab it on your own skin. And this is too much. But the, the extra can be covered with your foundation. And then it's almost natural. Also adds a bit more blushing because of color itself. So brown has a bit of a. Uh, let me just show you. It's a 
ruse wheel actually so it has a bit of a red undertone to it even though it's brown but that's why it's also good for the freckles yep now let's move into eyebrows for the eyebrows i'm gonna be using uh, precisely my brow pencil which is the benefit brow pencil in two and a half this is somewhat warm somewhat not so warm but good enough uh, she has straight brows and generally elves when you look at them they have like um, straighter lines here so part of my brows don't match but I can try to bring it a bit up and let's draw some eyebrows Eyebrows not perfect, but they are there. Good enough. Moving on to the eyes. Uh, it's very interesting how it's done. Because she has like no makeup in on all the promos and the videos that I've seen, but it's still it's still makeup. So let's try to repeat that. I will use a painterly, which is a paint pot by MAC, and I'm using just a finger. Dabbing it in and getting into the whole area. Now we have a base. And after that I'm going to use a bit of the Huda Light because Huda Light Nude because it has a very nice colors that are kind of similar to what you have in the eyes if you're blonde so this little pink one is gonna be the good for the base and then um, near the lash line and just to give a bit of dimension we're gonna use this one but this one has to be very very blended let's say so let's try it out There are a few reasons for that, specifically uh, this type of colors, um, orangey, pinky, will make the blue eyes pop more, so you can see, maybe, maybe not, but anyway. Um, and the other reason is that uh, when you're not having any makeup really, uh, your eyes still have a bit of color into them because the th skin is very thin in those areas and you have blood vessels and other things and you know, this is just what it is and the next step will be brown mascara in my case it's going to be a tinted primer rather than a mascara but this is brown uh, blondes don't have very dark lashes so the black is not going to fit also we don't need the false lashes because Galadriel doesn't wear them so you can just skip that part and Let's apply some tinted mascara. This is the real by benefit. Now for the lips. Uh, lips themselves are not anything outstanding. She has quite a small mouth, if you think about it. So I'm gonna use just a pencil. This is Lip Cheat Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, but you can use any more or less natural colored and we are not gonna overline the lips more like opposite and this is approximately what it is let's get on the wig and maybe I will find something silver and let's find how this turns out at the end <laughs> 